want help? Yeah. Okay. Hello, and welcome to Teal House Farm. Today we're gonna to make some barbecue sauce. We're going to make a hot and spicy barbecue sauce. If you've watched some of our barbecue canning videos before, I, I use a, I use kind of a sweet sauce, but we're gonna try something new Daddy's today. Love it. And Goobas is gonna help us, and Daddy's gonna love it, because he likes barbecue sauce with a kick. Yeah. So long story short, some friends um, of mine at church, we were having a talk the other day just for fun, just talking about some things, and the subject of barbecue sauce came up, and we decided that we're going to do a barbecue sauce trade. So we're each gonna make something different, and then we're gonna trade with each other, so that way we can try three different barbecue sauce recipes without having to make three different barbecue sauce recipes, and we can see what our families like the best. So I'm responsible for this smoky, hot, with a slight sweet, barbecue sauce. Um, we have somebody who's making a fruit-based barbecue sauce, and then I can't forget, I forget what the third one is, but we might do a taste test with you all when we get them all, but we're gonna make ours today, and Isla's gonna help me. Are you ready? All right, let's get you an apron. Okay, first let's show them what we need to make this. We have two onions, a half pint of jalapenos, or if you're doing this fresh, you want four to five jalapeno peppers. We have some ground mustard, and then I have some cayenne pepper and smoked paprika, salt and pepper, that's all the spices. Apple cider vinegar, olive oil, hot sauce, so this is Tabasco sauce, honey, some brown sugar, and two eight ounce cans of tomato sauce. And we might add a little bit of ketchup, depending if I don't feel like it's got a sweet enough flavor. The last ingredient is supposed to be bourbon. Um, and so that this is not a $20 pan of hot sauce, we're going to substitute the bourbon for some apple cranberry juice. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm not ready, Mama. You're ready? Let's go. First thing we need to do is dice these two onions up into chunks. You don't have to get super small because once we've cooked the sauce, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with an immersion blender. We're gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil to the bottom of our pot, put it on a medium heat. And then Isla here is gonna help me put all of our onions in one tiny little piece at a time. And then I'm going to add what's equivalent to about six cloves of minced garlic. So you could press your own fresh cloves or you could just use a pre-minced garlic like I did. We're gonna saute those just for a couple of minutes to get those onions translucent. And then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. Two eight ounce jars of tomato sauce, a drained half pint of jalapeno peppers. We're gonna add a can of water. So one of those tomato sauce cans we filled with water and added that. We added a cup of apple cider vinegar, a half cup of apple cranberry juice. We're going to add a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce and two teaspoons of ground mustard, two teaspoons of cayenne pepper, and two tablespoons of smoked paprika, and then a dash of salt and pepper. Added a half cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of Tabasco sauce, which took forever to get out of this tiny jar, but we did it. Just in case you're curious, that little jar was a quarter cup in itself, now I know. And then we added about a quarter cup of honey as well. Isla gives it a good mix for me, and then we're gonna put the cover on and bring it to a boil, and then immediately down to a simmer for 10 minutes. We'll get all those flavors working together before we do the next step. While that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the water bath canner. We're gonna get it filled up with water and use it to sterilize our jars. We'll boil the jars in the water bath canner and then go ahead and use the same water again to can our barbecue sauce. Now that the sauce has been simmered for about 10 minutes, we go ahead and take the lid off and JJ helps me hit it with an immersion blender. She gets a little nervous about getting splashed, so she stands back, but that's okay, I'll help her do it. Once we get it all hit and nice and smooth, I give it a taste test. 
and it's definitely not as sweet as we liked it. So that's why I kept the ketchup out. I added about a cup of ketchup to get it exactly how we like it. And as JJ showed us, we're gonna let it simmer down for five minutes uncovered. After that five minutes, our jars, which have been boiling, are ready to be filled. So we're gonna take them out and put them on this sheet. The sheet just helps keep the mess from getting everywhere, makes cleanup really easy. I have multiple size jars here. I have half pints. I also have my WEC canning jars, which are about a pint in size. We'll go ahead and fill them for with about an inch head space. The WEC jars are a no waste canning system. They are a European style jar. We're gonna go ahead and wipe the rims here with a damp cloth to make sure there's no sauce on the rims. And then let's get the lids on. So these WEC jars have glass lids. So the lids are completely reusable and these glass lids have reusable rubber rings. The rings fit inside the lid. Kind of just press it on there and then you're gonna sit that little pair on top of your jar. And then there are metal clamps that you put on the sides of the jar at six o'clock and 12 o'clock. And those hold the jar together during the canning process. After the jars have cooled down completely, we'll remove those clamps and the vacuum of the jar will keep the jar closed. When you're ready to open it, you just pull the rubber tab that's sticking out of the lid and that'll pop open the jar for you. And then you can reuse it over and over again. That's what it looks like. Let's get ready to put these in the canner. I have a whole video about the benefits of the WEC jar that I will list below. The biggest downside is cost. Obviously, I love that they're completely reusable, but they are more expensive. Let's lower those jars in. We need to make sure there is an inch of water over the top of the jar. So I'm gonna add some hot water and then we'll bring it to a boil. Okay, once we hit a rolling boil, it's gonna be 20 minutes. So when you can different size jars, you actually have to go with the canning time for the largest size. But for this particular recipe for barbecue sauce, it's 20 minutes, whether it's half pints or pints. And those wick jars, those weck jars, are actually not quite a pint, they're metric. I can't remember what size they are, but the weck jars don't come in American uh, measurements, they come in metric measurements, so they don't always line up perfectly. Um, but it, all I'd say, it actually doesn't matter. It's 20 minutes for a half pint or pint. Oh, you are messy, hang on. Um, so we're cooking a whole chicken for dinner already. So we'll get to test it out tonight for dinner once these are all done. Do you want to be our brave taste tester? Of what? The barbecue sauce. Of what? Where? I need a ketchup. Oh. Oh. Isn't it spicy? I need Oh, that hot. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. It tastes good, but when the hot is in. Hot. It's That's the name in hot sauce. Micah made the dinner tonight, other than I put the chicken in the crock pot this morning, but she made mashed. Or you tell them, what did you make? Garlic knots. Garlic knots. I don't like What do you think of the barbecue sauce? <laughs> Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Has a real like smoky, sweet flavor. But um, right when you think, oh, that's delightful. Yeah. It punches you in the face with the jalapeno. <laughs> Wait, you put jalapeno? Yeah, it's got a whole jar of jalapeno. <laughs> Hot wings, like bacon hot wings in it.